Welcome to Pringles Park and welcome to this installment of Generals on Deck. I'm Chris Harris. The Generals taking on the Pensacola Blue Wahoos today in a doubleheader with last night's game rained out here at Pringles Park. Game one starter for the Jackson Generals will be right-hander Brandon Maurer. He'll be opposed by right-hander Daniel Corsino for the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Don't forget, post-game fireworks follow today's ball game, the game two of our doubleheader. And last night, since dollar night was rained out from now until 6.30, enjoy the dollar price concession items, hot dogs, popcorn, 12-ounce drinks also, just a dollar until 6.30 tonight. Well, on Wednesday in Texas, the Seattle Mariners did something they'd only done one time in franchise history. That was scored 21 runs. We'll take a look at those 21 runs in a special way here in just a moment. And after that, we'll talk to Generals outfielder Kalyan Sams. He's swinging a hot bat of late. We'll talk to Sams, the Netherlands native, right after this. Mariners and Rangers in Arlington. Miguel Oliva with the two-run single. Not looking good for a clean-shaven Derek Collins, and it's 2-0 Mariners. Not three, not four, not five. Home run. That's the best way to go, right? Three-run homer for Dustin Ackley, his fourth of the season. 5 nothing M's. Not six, not seven. Fly ball deep to right center field. Given chases, Cruz going back, going to God! A two-run homer by Jesus Montero. The Two-run double to Montero. Two runs come in to score, and it's 11-0 Mariners. <laughs> <laughs> up, Justin Smoke. That's a three-run homer. His eighth of the season, 14-0 Mariners. Just throw it up there, and we're going to get it. <laughs> and Justin Smoke adding to the big night. Oh High and deep. Right field. Get out of here. Bye-bye. Eight run innings. Oh. Hey. Yeah, the Seahawks knock off Tony Romo and the Cowboys 21 to 8. Smoke now has five homers in his last 10 games. This was his first career multi homer game. He also had a career high six RBIs. The 21 runs are one shy of a franchise record and the most in the majors this year. Kyle Seeger had four hits. Jesus Montero finished with three and a triple shy of the cycle. Welcome back to Generals on Dak here at Pringles Park. Tonight, the Generals take on the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. We visit with Kalyan Sam's four hits in his last two ball games. And Kalyan, I don't know for you, it has to feel good to be swinging the bat well. Yeah, it definitely feels good. Every time you go up there and uh, you're swinging at good pitches and making good contact, it feels good. So. And I, I know you struggled a bit coming out, but uh, it just seems like you're, you're free swinging right now and you just feel good. Yeah, I feel more comfortable to play now, and uh, like I said, I'm getting better pitches now and not swinging that stuff in the dirt anymore and uh, just trying to maintain that and uh, keep going from there. If you're wondering about that accent, the, uh, the, the this guy right here from the Netherlands. Talk to me about growing up in the Netherlands. I know you were a great friend with, with Greg Holman. Tell me about baseball over there because I know it's getting big. Yeah, baseball well, it's kind of sm it used to be kind of small. It's getting bigger now since we won the World Cup last year, and uh, the number one sport in the Netherlands is soccer. Everybody plays it over there. And uh, me and Greg used to uh, play baseball together in the Netherlands as little kids and grew up together throughout the leagues and got a chance to play for the Mariners. And uh, now we're here. I mean, he's not here anymore, but that's uh, how it really went down for me. I know uh, he made an impact on everyone's life. He was always smiling around the clubhouse. And I know he made an impact on your life, too. Yeah, definitely. Greg was a great guy to be around. He always smiling, making jokes with everybody. He's just a good guy to be around. And uh, fortunately, he's not here with us anymore. But trying to like keep it going for him and uh, do the best I can. We've had some some big hitters here at Pringles Park. Luis Jimenez was here last year. Uh, Greg Holman was was a guy who hit the ball a long way. But you can hit the ball a long way. What's what's the farthest baseball you've ever hit? <laughs> the farthest baseball I've hit. I think that was last year in uh, Wisconsin. Or actually, Peoria Chiefs, I uh, hit the ball that sent out of the stadium, and it had like a brick building in the back. It hit the roof. It was probably one of the best balls I ever hit in my life. Now, uh, talking about the last BP group, it's you and, and Joe Donegan, uh, Denny Almonte, and now Chang's in that. Chang can hit the ball a long way. You guys have a little competition each day during batting practice on, on who can hit the most home runs. Yeah, it's all fun out there. Last group, and uh, four big guys can swing the bat. So we just go up there and uh, try to see who uh, can hit the ball the first. Now, who can hit the ball the furthest? Tough one. I don't know. It's um, shares between me and Joe, but uh, we all have good power in that group, so 
combined is uh, one hell of a home run. <laughs> now, yesterday I saw Joe hit one uh, off that West Tennessee Healthcare Sportsplex uh, or West Tennessee Healthcare sign above where we're talking on the video board. That's a pretty nice shot. That's a big home run over there. If you can hit a ball that high, I, I can't do it from the right side of the plate, but uh, <laughs> I can hit it over there on the left side. Though. Joe has some uh, good power, and uh, he shows it every day. Uh, talking uh, about your power, but you're also fast, and that's one thing a lot of people don't understand with you is you have those big, long strides, and you, you've got a couple of triples this year. Yeah, people don't expect me to be fast. They're like, oh, this big guy, he can run, but then all of a sudden I'll surprise him with some stolen bases, and they'll be like, okay, we got to keep an eye on this guy. But I don't know. It's something I always had, and uh, it's part of my game. So I just try to continue to being fast and uh, get those extra base hits and steal some bases for the team. And uh, right now, as we finish up this home stretch, you know what's the key thing you're going to be working on as we finish this first half? Being consistent at the plate every day, playing solid defense, and uh, try to make the team better and help the team win. Kalyan, appreciate the time. And oh, I got to ask you. I mean, did, did you ever think about playing football? I mean, is football talked about in the Netherlands? I mean, you got you would be a perfect defensive end. <laughs> I heard it all, all the time. I, uh, football is not real big in the Netherlands, but. Uh, I heard that if I was an American, I would have been a football player instead of a baseball player. But uh, unfortunately, I'm from the Netherlands and uh, I play baseball now. So I never really thought about playing football, but who knows? You never know. Now between me and you and Joe and a few other guys on this team, we, we can make a heck of a football defensive <laughs> line, don't you think? We can. We can. I don't know. Like I said, maybe one day we do it. <laughs> never right. know. That's Kalyan Sams. They appreciate the time. You got it, man. That's Kalyan Sams. Thanks for joining us on deck and enjoy today's ball game.